really scary. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back to Kekoka. And in this video, I show you some simple but cool things you can do within a day in Kikoka, Belize. My name is Mickey. Keep watching. I've not been in Kikoka in a while, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's enjoy. Kikoka is an island 30 to 45 minutes off the east coast of Belize. You can get there by flying, but my preferred means of transport is by boat through San Pedro Belize Express. For tickets, please visit belizewatertaxi.com. Link will be left at the video description for easy access. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back to Keikoka. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, it's a bit rainy and a bit wet, but um, I'm sure I can do something good. So let's do something random. Um, I've decided to go and get a golf cart and then see what the day will take us. Weather wasn't great this morning. Um, I think we've seen a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, it's brightened up a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't go dark and it doesn't start hammering down again. We just had a, a breakfast and we are going to go and see what we can do. First off, I checked the tap on fishes. This is a spot where you pay five Belizean dollars and get a chance to feed these big sea creatures, which is really fun to do. It is a very popular activity on the island, so do feel free to ask anyone and they will surely point you in the right direction. Morning. Morning, morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Have we got some fishes? Huh? Have we got some fishes? Yes, we do. Yeah. yeah. So. Do you like some? Please. Yes. Okay. Can I um, hold my camera in the water? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to be careful because they might try to eat it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They will spit it out, whatever you have in so your hand. So be careful it doesn't go down. And they will spit it out. Okay. It falls in the, in, in, in the sea, we can pick it up. But with the pelicans, they will take it and they will fly away with it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> If you followed me for some time, you realize that this is one of my favorite activities on Kikoka. I'm back to feed the tarpons. Let's get to action. Really scary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I lost it. He's gonna knock it out of here. Let's do it again. Lower. Oh. <laughs> so cool. Do you want to try? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Another one, another one. <laughs> I want I want to have you in it. Yeah. Okay, recording. Even the remora showed. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> Do you want to? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I'm still trying to decide. <laughs> That's so strong. Yeah. Between the top? That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's slippery. Yeah, it is. <laughs> wow. oh. I'm ready. Just wait, you guys. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that was it. <laughs> You can do another one. <laughs> Don't don't shake it. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, the famous split. The split is a man-made beach where everyone who visits Kikoka eventually ends up chilling. It is called the split as Kikoka used to be one island, but the northern part got separated when the island was struck by Hurricane Hattie in 1961, which widened a hand-dug channel for fishermen. With time, the locals used this place as a swimming spot and later named it the split. Now, there are numerous restaurants with the famous being the Lazy Lizard, ice cream joint, volleyball courts, and even a masseur at the split. For 5 Belize dollars, the last time I checked, you can also board one of these boats to the northern side of the island called Coco Cane, where there will be a whole new world at your disposal. <laughs> yes. This is a new stage. Um, when I was here, this wasn't here, so I, I guess they use it to host events, DJ nights, and stuff like that for Lazy Lazard. <laughs> Next, I decided to take a trip to the far south of the island, something that never crossed my mind to do on my numerous previous visit to this island. The sun came up and I've decided, you know what, let me go to the south side, the other side of the island and see what I can find. I don't remember ever going far that south, so yeah, come with me. And I'm happy I made this trip as it made me see and appreciate the island in its entirety. I drove past the school when class was in full swing and I almost felt bad as I realized beside the holiday vibe around this island lies someone's daily life routine. You also get to see some of the unrepaired distractions left behind by Hurricane Irma in 2017. And if lucky, get to interact with the amazing locals. I am exploring the south of um, Kikoka. I've not been here before. Um, my golf cart cannot come through here. And it looks like uh, this is somebody's residence. And yeah, so cool. It's crazy. It's nice. Finally, have you ever fed a stingray before? Well, there's a place in Kikoka where you can do just that for free and I checked it out. Whenever you find yourself in Kikoka, please look for Iguana Reef Inn. It is an amazing hotel. I've made a video about it and you can check it out. At the shores of this beautiful beach resort come a group of stingrays at around 4.30 to 5 o'clock p.m. every day to feed. 
you get the opportunity to come up close and even touch these harmless sea creatures. And if you are brave enough, you can even experience fishes being taken off the palm of your hands by these stingrays. And I must say it is gradually becoming one of the catch of the island as you can also watch the sunsets whilst you are at it. Soon it was time for me to go and catch my ferry back to mainland Belize. This is by no means the only activities you can do on Kikoka, but rather some cool ideas if you end up having only a limited time on the island. There are tour companies all over the island and all you need to do is to ask and you will be pointed in the right direction. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to come on my journey of experience. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.